let's make sure we understand what you're trying to accomplish and that other key stakeholders who know you or, or could, be, could affect you also understand what you're trying to do. Yeah. What do you think are some of the biggest challenges of getting people to understand that they need to be understood? I think there's a there's a great confusion that happens when you're in a position of authority and um, you um, make the mistake of believing that that translates into um, support. Yeah. Um, um, and so I think um, Helping, helping people in positions of power and authority understand how tenuous their position sometimes is. In the absence of support, there's only one way for power to be useful, and that's for it to be used in a kind of a, of a um, in, in sort of a dynamic of power as opposed to being a leader and bringing people along because they understand what you're trying to accomplish and they agree with what you're trying to accomplish. Um, so I, I think very rarely are people in authority, whether they're heads of companies or political figures, I don't think most people intend to misuse power. Yeah. I think they misunderstand mm -hmm. the nature of power. And being understood is, I think, a respectful way of reminding people that um, it, it, you should take responsibility for bringing along the people that you want to support you. Why is that hard for clients to do? And um, harder to be understood today than maybe yeah, 30 yeah. years ago when Chunoma started? Well, you know, the first part is, and this has always been true, but it's probably truer today than it's ever been, and that is um, everybody's busy. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> has a life. Um, everybody is not sitting around waiting to understand what I'm going through or what mm -hmm. I'm trying to accomplish. And even once they understand it, it might not be that important to them. So there's, there's understanding and there is um, context for being understood. Like is what I'm, what I'm trying to accomplish really important right now to anybody but me? And if the answer is no, then you have to reset your expectation um, for um, who's going to come along with you. Um, I think, so So the first is everybody's busy. There's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it's also that um, what's at stake for in, in any particular given situation, there's a great deal of difference between what's at stake for a person who's the leader of an organization and somebody who's maybe, you know, in the first level of um, an organization. One of the things that I, that I say in a lot of my work with ex senior executives today is never assume that the people at the first level in your organization yeah. even feel like they're on your team because there's so much distance between what you see and the way you're seeing it and what they see and how their how their days yeah. are, are organized and so taking responsibility to bring along the people in your organization um, making sure they understand what we're trying to accomplish um, is something that should not be taken for granted.